Hey gents, today we're talking about the best denim shirts for men. I grabbed my whole collection here. There's a lot of blue in this collection. We're gonna talk about what they are, why they are so versatile, how to style them. We're also gonna talk about the best places to pick up the best denim shirts, and then also the subtle differences between chambray and denim. So I'll put timestamps to everything as always. I'll put links below so you can jump to the brands and pick up any shirts. That supports the channel. There's no sponsors on Roundup videos like this. It's just about getting you the best information that I can bring helping you guys make the best decisions. Now, when I did my OCBD roundup, I had said, you know, a men's wardrobe is not complete without an OCBD. I don't think the same thing can be said on denim shirts, but it is a more stylish and a usually casual option that you can add in to really elevate the wardrobe. So as you're building out your collection, OCBDs, absolutely, dress shirts, but then as you want to build out a casual collection, denim shirts really come in. And that's where you want to understand the difference between denim and chambray. The contrast to OCBDs or the Oxford cotton button down is that denim shirts and chambray shirts have a ton of variation in the styles that you can go for. You can dress up a denim shirt, you can wear it with a tie, you can get a really strong collar like this and have you know, a really powerful look, or on the contrary, one of my favorite casual shirts is my chambray shirt from Jomers, which is just a super casual, relaxed fitting blue shirt that I roll up the sleeves for. And I love that look with a pair of khakis or with a pair of chino shorts. And the variations really come down to having a point collar or a button down collar. You can get variations on the pocket design that are on here, tons of different color shades, especially in chambray. With the OCBDs, you have the button down collar and the Oxford clock, but with chambray and denim, you have tons of different weights. You can have a mid-weight, heavyweight, lightweight, really across the board. So just a brief primer on the denim versus chambray, and then we'll get into the brand recommendations and everything else. You can almost see the pattern on this in the twill. We'll get a, we'll get a close up of the shot here, but denim is a twill pattern and it has an indigo warp and an, a white weft. And the way that that results is you can actually see a lighter contrast in the fabric on the interior versus the exterior. Now, with denim shirts, we're not talking about the thick, heavy, rugged denim that you would wear as a jean. It's much lighter weight, and you can see that in here. This is actually one of the heavier weight denim shirts that I have. This is my Woody's shirt right here. In the tool pattern, you'll see the result of that is just diagonal lines if you look very closely at the way that the shirt is weaved. Now for chambray, I consider chambray to be a more casual option of denim. You can you know, dress up a chambray shirt with a nice, I would say, like a knit tie, and denim, you can dress up pretty far, not as far as like an Oxford cloth necessarily. And I've seen amazing looks with denim shirts and chambray shirts with ties. But the way that chambray is differentiated from denim is denim has the twill weave. Chambray is much more of an even weave, but it also uses a more, the word is like slubby. It's a slubby fabric and it gives you some of these imperfections, which is, it's an amazing texture on the shirt, but that's usually what results it in being a much more casual style. And you can also see in the design you know, of this chambray shirt, they also have two chest pockets, which is a much more casual look, uh, but still a refined way to wear a button-up shirt and set yourself apart for being a more stylish guy. And speaking of those designs and styles, even in my own collection, I have a great variation of shirts. I do have this really cool popover style. This is from John Henrik. This is a very lightweight, dark blue denim that is perfect for spring and summer. The hem style and the length is perfectly cut to be untucked, but then I actually get lucked out on this shirt because the sleeves are long enough for my long arms, but the popover style is very cool. I also have this super lightweight denim short sleeve shirt from Everlane, which is from years ago. You can see a little bit of the collar stains on some of the shots. It's very lightweight. It has just a little bit of stretch and I love the just short sleeve style on this one. This is another one that I really only pull out for spring and summer. So let's do a quick rundown of brand recommendations and I'll talk about some of the styles that are available as I go through these two. And the way that I broke these down is you're gonna have your starters, you're gonna have your customs, and then you're going to have your more like stylish and design style brands. And the starter of all starters, we can't talk about denim without talking about Levi. Levi has a ton of options that you can go for depending on the fit and the weight that you're looking for, depending also on the channel. If you go to their outlet stores, if you go to any of the retailers that they work with, you'll find various prices of these. You know, you'll find it around $70, but they're really gonna have you covered on casual denim shirting style. Now, depending on the season, you'll of course have your usual suspects like Gap, Banana Republic, and J. Crew. One of the brands that I've been wearing for years around that price point is Mott and Bao. This is, I believe, their Graham shirt. I couldn't find, you know, I had the receipt from a few years ago on my email. I couldn't find exactly which style this is for the color, because I know you guys will ask. But at $89, this shirt has been amazing. I like that I can wear this shirt very casually, but I can also wear it with like a silk knit tie and then like a pair of wool trousers as an 
like an elevated smart casual. But the button down collar, the soft feel of the fabric, I really like this one. Then there's Jomers, which I'm, I've always been impressed with the quality of the products for the price that you're paying from them. And I love their design language as well. I think it's very simple. And I think it's very, it's what I really like about somebody like a J. Crew is they have a simple design philosophy. And this shirt is there from their chambray. I can't believe this Japanese chambray shirt is only $32. That just goes to show how great of value they are. They have a ton of color options uh, within the chambray, and this shirt is absolutely one of my go-tos as I'm just looking for something to throw on casually but still have a, a good look. And to wrap up the starter brand, since we're talking about Jomers down at $32 up to you know Gap and Air Public Levi, I also wanna mention Leadberry. Leadberry does off-the-rack shirts, but Leadberry has always been one of my favorite shirt makers since the day that I got you know, one of their shirts in college and I couldn't believe the quality of it. This is their really soft denim shirt here. Fits, the, you know, they have a slim fit, they have a traditional fit, but they're, they always have just used exquisite fabrics, whether it's their Oxford shirt that I have or the denim, I have some of their linen shirts, truly amazing stuff. So they have you covered on the denim side and then on the chambray, this is actually one of the heavier weight chambrays that I've experienced, but it seems, you know, this is like a perfect, like a fall shirt. It's like a little bit heavier weight in the chambray. They have, they have various options on there, but Leadberry, and their shirts come in around $130. So definitely on the higher end of the off the rack thing, but every shirt that I've purchased from them, the fabric has been amazing, the fit is great, and they just last. They also have these new masks. They're offering like a three pack on there and they're using their amazing fabrics, but they also have like the fitted masks just makes the whole mask wearing experience much easier. And they have the metal, just a small metal band here to keep it right around the nose, which helps if you're wearing, you know, glasses. And uh, they sell a three pack, they have a kids pack. So another great brand like this that is doing masks in conjunction with the rest of their line. And they have, you know, different colors and things. I think the blue brings out my eyes, so I wear the blue. And before we jump into Major Measure, one more brand, Huckberry has an amazing Western denim shirt. This really has like the heritage and the look of a Levi's classic without having the Levi's name, but it's made in the USA of USA denim. I think that's great. And now for your custom options, this is what I recommend for most guys. You know, not everybody fits off the rack shirts, but also you wanna get what you are looking for. And the best way to do that is with Made to Measure. Also, it's not nearly as expensive as it was several years ago. And so a lot of these shirts you're gonna see, like Woody's here, start at $89. Woody's is my main recommendation for guys starting Made to Measure. They have a fit guarantee to make sure you get fit. And they'll also size you without having to enter in measurements. They have a, a fit algorithm that will really help. And you can go to their site and just filter by denim. This is their darker one. And then I have their lighter style as well. This is the way that you can ensure that you're getting an amazing fit, in, not only in the torso, but also in the sleeves. And you can see in their fit from me, I have nice high armholes, which gives a really nice silhouette. And then the fabric is amazing as well. Some other great made to measure options. Proper Cloth has a really nice selection of denim and chambray shirts. Sticking with our made to measure, you have some great options out there. Deo Veritas will start you out at $110. And with all these companies, for the most part, you can go in to their fabric selectors and just select, you know, Deo Veritas labels it indigo denim, or if you had a proper cloth, that'll put you up in 155, but they have a denim chambray option in there as well. You also have Black Lapel and Indochino, usually around that $100 price point, and then Blank Label and Alton Lane, which I've talked about before, but those are two companies that at least pre-pandemic, you had to go into the store to get things fitted. I believe now some of them are, are doing an in-home process where they'll walk you through. And that being said, if you're already working with a custom clothier, very good chance you can just say, hey, make me some great denim shirts. They'll fit them based on your model. And that's really the goal with all these companies, right? Is you get one that you like, you get the fit right, and then you just order additional shirts. That's the way I have it with Woody's. Actually, I'm very spoiled. Most of these companies, I have that process nailed down. Uh, but if you're looking to get into one, usually I recommend Woody's. And then I'll also talk about, you know, proper cloth, just bar none, amazing product experience. The price is higher, but with all of these, you get what you pay for. Just a couple mentions in the more designer space. I never go true like, you know, $500 denim shirt based on a designer, but you do have Todd Snyder making an amazing shirt coming in at 198. It's an amazing washed denim, like medium blue. It's made from an Albiete 1830, like Italian fabric made in Portugal. And so that's why you're seeing the 198. It's, you know, it's, a des it's specifically designed to be a very cool shirt. And then last but not least, the denim shirt from Billy Reed. Billy Reed is the brand that I have lusted over for years. Starting with their Bond Peacoat back in 2012, this is, you know, just a cool denim shirt, but it has rivets instead of buttons. A little bit more designery, but made in the USA, Italian denim fabric. Something unique, pretty cool, and stand out. I also just wanted to mention at the end here, I have a batch shirt, which is a chambray, but it's also a band collar. So 
Another thing, we, when we're talking about the versatility of the denim and the chambray, I've had this shirt for a while. I actually tailored it myself. I, I brought in the sides so that I can have a little bit more of a tailored look. The band collars, I feel like haven't caught on or gone beyond you know, kind of the enthusiast style market. I remember seeing some at Banana Republic. Every year I feel like they're about to break through, uh, but it's really hard to break the, uh, you know, just folded collar look, but I really like the band shirt. Batch is a very unique shirt maker. An amazing one, when I talk about like the starters, you know, they're around that $100 price point, but every shirt that I've had from them has been amazing. And so definitely worth looking at Batch depending on what the collection they have right now. So there you have it, gents. That's everything that I could tell you about denim shirts right now. I'd love your feedback and questions. As always, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. The roundup style videos take a little bit more work. My schedule has been kind of off recently, but I hope this is helpful. Hope everybody is staying safe and sane right now. As always, I appreciate your support and feedback. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Sometimes I feel rusty when I get in front of the camera.